Hello and welcome to another episode of Fish and Forge where it's raining. I'm taking the camera underneath the cover. Oh, thank you for tuning in guys. As you've probably seen in the in the title, we are on a challenge today. We have we have some goals. We need to catch three trout and we want to find more morels. So the last video you saw on this on this channel, you saw me get like five or six morels. And to be fair, you know, we've been looking for morels for like five or six years. So finding any of them was pretty awesome. So we we're pretty happy about that. But uh, today we want to we want to double up the ante. We want to get some fish. We want to we want to get a couple trout, and we want to get some morels, and we want to cook up a forest feast, a delicious forest feast. I have a good. I have we we got a lot of nice ingredients too, some extra ingredients. So we have a good idea of what we want to do. We just need to get the trout, and we just need to get. <laughs> The morels, which is the part I'm worried about, honestly. Stick with us, stay tuned. We're gonna go fishing for some trout first, and then we have a couple spots we wanna check for morels, so wish us luck. Hopefully we can make this happen. <laughs> anyway, guys, stay tuned. Let's find some let's find some fish and let's find some delicious morels. at the lake and we found our first woodland creature. Oh, he's digging. Yeah, he's I'm gonna scare the crap out of him. <laughs> Come here, bud. He's probably so cold. He's pregnant, I think. Look at this. Don't poop on me. You can poop in the water. Look at her. Yeah, she's, look how fat she is. She's definitely pregnant. Look at that fat girl. I'm not gonna hurt her. Just wanted to say hi. Hey, lady. She's pooping on me, that's perfect. First specimen of the forest today, but I'm gonna let her go. All right. Not a keeper. Keep her. Don't go that way. There she goes, guys. <laughs> that's a fat garter snake. I grabbed her front and the back at the same time and she's probably like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm dead. That's the setup, guys. Just a bobber, and then maybe two and a half, three feet of line, some split shots, and a tiny little hook with a salmon egg on it. Jeez. It's definitely inclement weather. Honestly, you know what we should do? We should put on some power bait and a bigger weight and just bomb it out there. Yeah. I bet that would do it. As much as I want to see a bobber down, we just don't have the spot for it. I'm gonna cast left or right? I'm gonna continue casting. Okay, then I will cast that way. All right, we switched it up. I'm using a tiny little power bait garlic ball with a bottom sinker now. I think this thing floats. It doesn't float. It is, it says floating on the dang package. Maybe you need more than one. Maybe the hook's too heavy. All right, so that looks pretty good, right? It should float. Oh yeah, floats with two. Must be the hook just too heavy. That's better. I hope there's fish. <laughs> I mean, they're out there. Yeah, I just, I think, I know this area is like a flat, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be swimming around it. Oh, I'm gonna bite. Get, get, get. Oh, oh yeah. Fish on, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I think he, no, he's still there, he's still there. You might have to lift yours up. Let me know. Well, it's a ways out there, so. I have no frame of reference. I can't tell if this is fighting good or not because I'm not used to the tiny. I think he's fighting pretty good though. He's running. He's running. Is he still there? I think he's still there. He just gave up. Yeah, yeah. He just gave up fighting. Come on. You got to get in. This is the bad part. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Yeah. I need the net. You want to net him for me? 
hurry because I can't get over there easily. <laughs> oh, he swallowed it. Wow, that's a nice wow. one. Wow, yeah, good fish, Let's babe. Let's go. All right, I'm going to go under you. Oh. Yeah. Woo guys, look at this. Look at this fish. This is a beautiful first fish. Dude, look at this fish, guys. I know, I know. This is a bad day for you. Look at that beauty. It's actually really solid. I don't think this is, this must have been a holdover because I don't think that they stocked them this big. Whew, okay. So I'm trying to like clean them off for you guys. Yeah, check this out. Beautiful fish. We are going to eat this, so I'm not too worried about handling it carefully. We are going to bonk them here in a second. But this is what we're going for. We need two more of these and then we will be set for our forest feast. Look at that. That's a solid, that's a solid 14, 15 incher, you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Let's go bonk him. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, sorry, bud. And then bleed him. Oh God, that was kind of messed up. Yeah, look at that beauty, guys. Just one more look before I put them in the bag. Gorgeous fish. It's a cutthroat, I think. No, nope, just a rainbow. It's got a lot of spots. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yes, <laughs> let's go. First fish I caught on these little power bait garlic scent balls with some glitter and chartreuse. Chartreuse is a favorite of mine as you guys are probably aware if you've watched my videos for any amount of time. Ah. Except I don't like where the rod holder is for me. I got it. Oh, I'm getting a bite already. Yeah. I think. Like oh, yeah. Good. Fish on. <laughs> I was literally just setting the rod down. He's running left. He's running left. Stop running left. Come on, come on, come on. Come back. Oh, he's a little guy. Get out of the weeds. Get out of the weeds. It's not bad. This is the stalker size I was thinking we were gonna get. Hey, 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 hey. I know, it's terrible. So this, guys, this is the size that I was expecting to get. It's these little stalker, which are perfect. They're fine for eating. We'll eat this guy for sure. We're not gonna let anything go to waste. But that first one was a treat compared to this, right? <laughs> this guy is uh, definitely more standard, the cookie cutter stalker trout. But he'll fit in a pan just fine and he'll taste great with some butter and garlic and uh, some other stuff that will be a surprise till we start cooking. I think we're going to go for like one or two more and then go out hunting for more mushrooms. So hot, hot bite we got. I just want to go over my setup so you can see exactly what I'm doing. We got our ultralight salilo by Akuma. It's like a five foot one. It's actually my hiking rod that I take hiking with me because it breaks down and can fit in my fly tube. And then we got a 1000 series Kmar, Akuma Kmar, a four pound fluoro mainline. Actually, four pound fluoro mainline and four pound fluoro leader. All I did is I put on some sliding weights. This is called a Carolina rig. So there's some sliding weights here. Super easy. I put two of them on there because I want to be able to cast further. And then this is can be any swivel. I just use like a little duo snap swivel there, but it can be anything. And uh, yeah, that's it. I bombed it out there as far as I can get it. And today, at least, like we're getting lucky because we're getting bites in like a minute. Or I didn't even. I literally set the rod down and that last one I got a bite. So yeah. Can we cast it? Okay, I'm gonna cast her chest. Here. You're set. Just get it tight and then get ready for a fish, because that's was how fast it was last time. <laughs> I caught two fish in like, what, 10 minutes maybe? Super fast. Jess immediately switched over to the bait I was using. So now she's gonna be trying to get our third fish and our last fish. 
or cast it right out where we were. And last time I got a bite, you saw it, guys. It was like immediate. I didn't even set the rod down. But we want to get just a fish, and then we want to go find some more delicious morels. It's springtime. The snow's gone off the mountains, at least mostly. We are at a, a high mountain lake. Like, this is some of my favorite stuff to do. If you like these videos, definitely let me know in the comments. Like, let me know what you think, and let me know what you want me to do next. And yeah, it's good times. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're here with me. <laughs> I guess I should probably get out of your way. Oh, 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 Jess, literally, it's just as they got out of the way. Wait, wait, give, give it a couple seconds. It's real, oh God, I'm gonna fall on you. <laughs> Sorry, wait, is it, is it on there? Is it biting it? No. I don't think it took the bait because those things are little pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that little piece of rubber too. They're not easy to just pick apart. Oh, oh. don't just yeah. Oh, what is happening? Oh my God, Jess, it's on there. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, Get, yeah. You got it. No. What was that? No. That was crazy. Real fast, real fast. We'll just yeah, just recast it. That thing was bent over. Yeah. I thought for sure there was a fish there. Right. I think that's the money. I think he's still nibbling it. Oh, wait, wait, get ready, get ready. I think it's on there, I think it's on there. It's pulling the weight free from where it was stuck. Yeah, he's still, oh, hold on, yeah. So pick it up and then, oh, yes, yes, go, 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 go. Get him? Maybe. Maybe. I think you got him, right? I don't think so. Really? He's not fighting at all. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah? Or I'm stuck. Real quick, real quick. You got him? He's a little guy. Pull him over that, pull him over that. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, back up. <laughs> we got one. Jess got her fish. Yeah, Jess with her fish. <laughs> Look how big that is. It's as He's big as her like torso. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now we're going to put it out of his misery and carry on with our day. Alrighty guys, three fish in the bag. Me and Jess, neither of us skunked. So we're all set, we're all packed. We are gonna head to the car and then we are gonna go on some morel adventures, hopefully successful morel adventures. We're not morel skunked, but we are slightly <laughs> more morel worried. <laughs> That's probably an accurate, an accurate assessment. But we got fish. I do have a good recipe for the fish, so definitely stick around. Firebox stove cooking time on the fish. if. You don't catch any morels. But yeah, let's go for some morels. Literally, so look down there. That's where we were fishing. And we're walking up, right? We're walking up to leave. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it's in there too. <laughs> oh God. That's what we're going for. This is literally it. We didn't even have to leave the lake. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I can't believe that, guys. That's insane. Like, I've been to this lake every single year, multiple times a year. Multiple times in, in June and July. And I've literally never seen one of these here. What the heck? <laughs> okay, now we gotta stop and look around for a couple seconds here. Yep. So, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back with some more, hopefully. <laughs> Believe that.
pick up your trash, kids. And be cool and stay in school. <laughs> we're kind of just shooting the dark here with Morels because we haven't really figured out the pattern yet. So I think what we're going to try is uh, we're, not, we're on a pretty flat area, but a lot of times people say that you can find them on south facing hills. Um, we're near pine trees. We are in the elevation that we've seen other people getting them at. Maybe a south facing hill is the key, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go find one of those and see if it helps. Wish us luck. <laughs> So if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that morels are like my white whale. And you will also know that I have actually found morels now, as of this year. But I certainly don't know how to find morels. <laughs> They're there somewhere. They're in the area. I just don't know exactly where. So yeah, that's where we're at. Oh my god, you guys. So, la well, it technically is our last spot that we were going to look. We were going to come, kind of circle back and look for more, but we did it. We found some some morels. There's one right here, which is covered in bugs. And then there's a couple more right here. You see that? Yeah, a couple more right here. But, and there's freaking bugs everywhere. I'm getting eaten alive. But, we found some more. I'm super excited. Um, I see now why people say soak these in salt because that's a lot of bugs. They're salt water. That's a whole lot of bugs that I don't want to eat. We have four morels. But we have one more spot we're gonna try. You ready, Jess? For the last spot? All right, guys, out. We are done. Did not find any more morels. They are an anomaly. We can't figure out a pattern. We can't figure out. There's no consistency. Like all three places we found morels now are just not the same. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that we're gonna call it. So we have three beautiful fish. One nice trophy fish. Not trophy, but you know, pretty good fish. We got three fish. We got a handful of morels, so we'll be able to eat those. And it's going to be in the backyard on the firebox stove and it'll be good. So yeah, let's stay tuned. Let's, let's hit up the, uh, let's hit up the backyard firebox stove kitchen and have some delicious food. All right. So now we're going to chop up our ingredients. We got a, an onion here. fresh green onions. Don't need too many of these. They're just gonna go in at the end. We have a lemon. We're gonna keep half of it for the juice and half of it for some lemon slices. And then finally, we're gonna cut up some parsley. Mince it up real good. This should add a nice, light flavor. Do you want one trout or two little ones or? Let's get, take care of the big one. It's gonna cut his head off. So I'm, I'm gonna score this a couple times. Oh, I need a sharper knife. Jeez, I need a sharper knife. So this will let the flavor get in there as well as keep it from curling up on itself. Salt and pepper time. I don't even think I'm gonna put pepper on it actually. All right, so now all of the ingredients are ready. 
Let's take a look at how the mushrooms are doing. Ooh. <gasps> so, uh, there's a reason they want you to soak them. That's, uh, that's a lot of nasty that came out of them. All right. So this is good, uh, good proof that you should definitely soak your mushrooms. At least somewhere else. Look at all that nastiness. Gross. <laughs> that came out of those. There's worms in there. Ew. There's like bigger worms in there, Jess. No, thank you. <laughs> it's fire time. And of course I can't. That was intentional. There was nothing wrong. A little flip down there. So now you have a whole box and you put your wood in here and then you can cook on top. There's a, a grate, like a grill grate. Yeah, it's pretty slick, I like it. That's what we're gonna cook on. So let's get that fire started. You gonna come sit next to the fire, Jess? It's actually surprisingly warm. We're gonna get some butter, some good old butter, salted butter. I'm gonna put a good amount in there because we're gonna be cooking a bunch. And then we're gonna add some garlic. Pretty healthy amount of garlic. Right on top of the butter there. Onions in here with it. So we're cooking the mushrooms real quick. Do what I want to do. Kind of split them down the middle. We got some more butter going for the main event. Our lemon stuffed trout here. Ooh. Mini lemon stuffed trout. I cannot believe how good this looks. Seriously, guys. And it smells amazing. I wish you were here. And I don't think, yeah, we can get that, those crispy, some of them are crispy, but a lot of them are just perfectly sauteed. Oh my gosh, actually, I forgot so many things. Okay, so morels. Do you want? I'm good. You know what? You can have that. And then some fresh green onions on here. <laughs> you just bounce off. <laughs> I'll give you a final look here. And then, just a little squeeze of lemon over the trout. It was cooked with them, but I want just some uncooked acid to get that real bright, bright flavor. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's, let's dig in. I'm excited. First, get this nice shot here. Oh. Look how good that looks. Jeez, I'm gonna try some of these. These are those sauteed onions with garlic. Wow. Mmm. It tastes like a pizza topping. I think with that, that parsley, that's so good. Mmm. Crispy crab skin. Lemony crispy crab skin. Yeah. Oh god, you guys. You guys are so good. I haven't even tasted the trout yet. I've been eating 
onions and it's fucking delicious. Let's try one of these morels. I'm saving the trout. Those morels. I guess that doesn't really look that appetizing. You the prettiest. Super good. The trout is nice and lemony. Is it? Okay, next morel. Yeah, it's like, it's teasing us, seriously guys. It's teasing us with the so few amount of morels we're getting. Like, all I want to do is make, like, a huge morel, like, pasta dish or something. Yeah, we're thinking stroganoff. God, it's so good. But I only get like two bites. Ah! We'll find the mother load. Alright. Now's the now's the real test. Now's the, the trout. So what I'm gonna do is peel this skin back. Oh, it's like nice. Definitely cooked well. Ooh, there's a crispy bit. It's getting that nice. Crispy crispy trout's get in there. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. That lemon makes it so good. That lemon just... Like a cherry on top there. That was super good. That was just the skin. Okay. Keep getting distracted. Alright, so I'm... Constructing this bite. This trout with parsley and a little... You can't see it, but there's a green onion in there too. <laughs> Let's try this. Mmm. Wow. That green onion adds a nice bite. And the lemon that I squeeze on top. Have you ever tried lemon on trout? You're missing out. I don't do that often, but it reminds me why I should do it more often. Super good. This whole thing is just spectacular. Yeah, this is some of the best trout I've had in a while, honestly. So let's try a bite with that, uh, with those grilled onions on there. So good. So good. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys, and I'm gonna finish my meal. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I feel really lucky being able to go out somewhere nearby, into the woods, Go to a lake, catch tr catch delicious trout, literally drive away from, oh, we found one on the side of the lake, find a choice mushroom on the side of the lake, and then, you know, flounder around for a couple hours trying to find a couple more. And then just being able to either, you know, cook that in the campground, or take it home and just make a meal out of everything that I found. Minus, like, the onions or whatnot. The fact that I can do that is awesome. Like, if you are interested in doing this, and you're near some place that you can do this, Get on it, dude. Seriously, like, it's amazing to be able to do this. And I'm, I'm really happy that you guys were, you know, coming along with me. So thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to dig into this and finish this. Comment below what you think. Like this video. Hit that thumbs up button. I think this was a banger. This was definitely, like, it turned out as a banger. So thanks again. But yeah, until next time, keep on fishing and keep on foraging. <laughs>